Here we go guys, my first take analysis at the new Monster Hunter Cross trailer. Now this is for the regular 3DS as well, so this will work on any 3DS or new 3DS, which is a great choice. Now if you notice here, there's multiple balloons in the air. I almost wonder if there's a multiplayer aspect where you can go and visit people's villages. The reason why I say that is look at the village now. Um, it's built up, there's a lot of different uh, establishments, there's a lot of different characters running different things. But then look at this next shot that they're going to go to. There we go. So look at it. It's really basic. It almost tells me that there's either a story mechanic in which you build up this village or you actually build it up the way that you want. And maybe you customize it like sort of Animal Crossing like. That would be cool. Um, but time will tell. So this is the first map um, that they were talking about today, which is a new one that's sort of prehistoric. Uh, in Jurassic in theme. I think this is going to be the new map that is going to capture that one of the new four flagship monsters which is that big fire-based T-Rex like monster. Also note we're thinking here new small monsters, new large monsters, and even new vegetation and items which is going to allow for perhaps new items in the game which would be really nice. Okay, so we know a special technique can be chained after the forward lunge attack for the Sword and Shield, and that the hit effect actually happens on the second hit, not the first. For Dual Blades, it's after going into Demon Mode, you notice that you actually can evade right through the Fireball, uh, and it's almost like a counter-attack move, so this is really interesting. Here we have what looks like a new triple swing for the hammer, and this thing looks like it hits really hard. I wonder if the first and second moves actually do damage as well. This almost looks like a flamethrower attack for a gun lance, where you can just stand there for a few seconds and just blast the monster to like smithereens if you know that they're not going to be moving. It's super cool. Here we see a special move in which you put the glaive in the ground and it creates a healing area of effect. So I think this is kind of a support move. It's really cool. Now this is crazy. We actually have both a mounting move and we have a jumping move with shooting in the air over a monster. Ukanlos, you're going to be really fun to do against if you're in this game. Here we see a new charge move for the Lance in which you hit them really hard in the face with the shield first and follow it up with a really strong thrust with the Lance. Maybe we're going to be KOing people. This looks like a special type of Encore, like the Hammer. It's a triple swing, but this one is followed by a huge blast which sends things flying. And I think that's a new monster as well. It's almost like a peacock bird. This starts just like the heavy bow gun, I think, with R&B. It does like a jump attack just like you do with uh, the insect glaive. So I think this might be one of the play styles is a mounting style where you can do jump attacks. So this is cool. Notice this is a new ending variant for the Switch Axe's uh, Elemental Burst. My guess is that it will eat up the entire gauge, but that is one wide burst. The bow is interesting. I'm not sure why they specifically show it after you evade. Maybe this is an attack that you can only do after a certain amount of evades. But if you look at the arrow, it's clearly giving your hunter a boost. And that's an effect that I haven't seen before. So I think we're going to be seeing some new status ailments and boost effects in this game. Very cool. And here we have a charge move for the light bow gun. So this goes again with my theory that it's one of the play styles is a charge one where you get a charge move sort of like the hammer or great sword. So also very cool. I kind of wonder if this is also a charge attack like the sword and shield where you jump back, you charge and then you jump forward and that both the back jump and the forward jump is part of this charge attack. Very cool for dual blades. Now this actually appears to be another style for great sword. And to me, this looks like a longsword spirit gauge style. So I think you might actually be able to select a spirit gauge as one of your play styles, which would be incredibly awesome. The giveaway here is that you're able to start this from idle, which means it's almost like a spirit slash combo. And here it's totally flipped. Now we have a longsword with an attack that looks like a level 3 charge for greatsword. You wait for that little clink and then boom, you hit him for big damage. This is a tough one for the charge blade. I don't know whether or not this is a playstyle or just a special attack. Um, but it's like a, uh, a chit back and then a diagonal slice with from a sword mode. So it's cool, whatever it is. And of course now we're just showing that there's four different villages. Three of them being from past games. So this is going to be really nostalgic for a lot of people. 
flagship one, I think, captures the mounting and aerial aspect of the four styles, and he is thunder-based if you look at the effect that the hunter gets when he gets hit. This is the second. He's huge. I think he represents the charging uh, placed out with him jumping up like that and then slamming down. And if you look at the effect, that is an ice monster. Flagship number three is our water monster. I think this flagship is supposed to represent the playstyle of buffing, whether it's healing your other comrades or buffing yourself. And then the fourth flagship is big old T-Rex guy. This guy is cool. I think he represents the longsword almost spirit combo idea because he just seems very technical. He's got these nice wind-ups and huge attacks. And bizarrely enough, I don't see poogies, but I see these little sheepy things, which is really bizarre. <laughs> we'll find out when it comes out this winter, but likely before that once they reveal the news. But I think there's my analysis. So as far as I can see, my speculation is that we're going to be able to introduce both a level charge mechanic to any weapon, either that or a mounting attack, um, or on top of that, almost a spirit gauge type of system, and then possibly either techniques or play style that adds buffs or status ailments to your attacks, which would make a lot of sense if you think about it in kind of a balanced for a gameplay style kind of way. But we'll find out. Anyways, this was a really cool trailer, uh, and I can't wait for more news. Happy hunting.